Mina, come on, Jesus freaking gamer here. Back with more Psalm 93. This time I wanted to add some words, preach one of my little sermonettes, um, possibly two Christianettes, who um, who will be watching this video. I'm going to be taking two verses out of Psalm 93, verses three and four, and just m minutely elaborating on them. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their waves. The Lord on high is mightier than the noise of many waters, than the mighty waves of the sea. It's a tried and true message. It's old as the Bible itself. But whatever storm you're going through, and I mean whatever storm. I don't know if you just school and work is rough. If, um, if you're in a bad relationship with your parents or your spouse or your children. Maybe you or one of your loved ones was diagnosed with some terminal illness, some terminal disease. Maybe you and the person you love most in the entire world is facing death. Maybe even a slow one. I'm talking about like the worst kind of stuff here. Please remember that God is stronger than even those horrible things. God is bigger and higher than those horrible things. Just like heaven itself is higher than life here on earth. Please be reminded that the God you serve is strong. He is with you, and he's bigger than the circumstances, however terrible, that you are facing. He's bigger than all of that. The Lord can heal. The Lord will provide. The Lord is there. His peace is abundant to you. His grace is sufficient for you. Please do not give up. Please do not turn away. When the waves are crashing all around you, please hold fast, stay the course, and dear to the end. The Lord can deliver you out of this. But if he doesn't, have the, have the endurance, have the mindset of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego that even if you're thrown in the fiery furnace, you will serve God anyway, even if he chooses not to deliver you that he is still your God, your Lord, and your Savior, and that you won't turn away from him. And if this message reaches someone in a country where the ruler is opposed to Christianity, then all the better. I am glad to be speaking to you, my brothers and my sisters. I hope this message reaches your ears, and I hope it's encouraging to you, and I hope it's something that you can understand. And that, that's my elaboration from that psalm. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully it was good. So I certainly pray so. May God richly bless you as you serve him. I love you very much, and God bless.